Hi, this is Jane from Kobe. Big change is happening. College Board recently announced that this year, the APCS Principles Performance Task and the End of Course Exam are changing. In this video, we'll look at the big changes and go over strategies for how we can best prepare for this. Here's a quick overview of the changes. Previously, students created a program, wrote a written response, and created a video of the program functioning, then submitted the written response and the video to the AP Digital Portfolio. Now, students need to submit three things, the program code, the video, and instead of the written response, students submit something called the Personalized Project Reference, which consists of screen captures of lists and procedures. Now, why is this required? Because in addition to the two hour multiple choice end of course exam, an additional hour has been added where students are asked to write their written response during the exam live. So how will they be able to write their response without their project code? Well, during the exam, they'll have access to, wait for it, personalized project reference they uploaded to the AP digital portfolio in the previous month. This is such a smart assessment approach. Students can use ChatGPT all they want to create their projects. However, at the end of the day, they're going to have to explain their code using their own words and their personalized project reference. The written response will ask four questions, each question from the four prompt categories. The specific prompts will vary across the different versions of the exam. And here are the four. One, program design, function, and purpose. Two, algorithm development. Three, errors and testing. Four, data and procedural abstraction. So now let's take a look at those four categories in detail. And good news, the requirements for the project have loosened up big time. In my opinion, I think this is good. It allows students to get more creative with their project. Here's the first category, program design, function, and purpose. Students should be prepared to respond to prompts about their program that assess any of the following learning objectives. These are very straightforward. Describe the purpose of the computing innovation. Explain how a program or code segment functions. Identify inputs to a program. Identify outputs produced by a program. Develop a program using a development process. Design a program and its user interface. Describe the purpose of the code segment or program by writing documentation. Second category, algorithm development. Explain how a program or code segment functions. Evaluate expressions that use relational operators. Evaluate expressions that use logic operators. Determine the result of conditional statements. Express an algorithm that uses iteration without using a programming language. Determine the result or side effect of iteration statements. Compare multiple algorithms to determine if they yield the same side effect or result. Create algorithms. Combine and modify existing algorithms. Now, this is what I meant by loosening up the requirements. Do you see the big difference here? And the third category, this is kind of new, errors and testing. Identify the error, correct the error, identify inputs and corresponding expected outputs or behaviors that can be used to check the correctness of an algorithm or program. Four, data and procedural abstraction. Develop data abstraction using lists to store multiple elements. Explain how the use of data abstraction manages complexity in the program. Write iteration statements to traverse a list. Determine the result of an algorithm that includes list traversals. Explain how the use of procedural abstraction manages complexity in a program. So this whole category is dedicated to lists and list traversals. So that is very important now. And now, how do we prepare? Here are the three things I would recommend. One, make sure the code project hits all of the required learning objectives in the four categories. Number two, the personalized project reference is critical to the quality of the student's written response. Before uploading the reference to the AP digital portfolio, make sure to practice answering the learning objectives with the project reference. Three, by the time students are taking the exam, it's highly likely that they've forgotten the ins and outs of their project code. Answer the learning objectives using the personalized project reference as students near the exam date. Time yourself, practice completing this within an hour. For the most updated information, make sure to visit College Board's website. Thank you and good luck.